guys, welcome back. So I'm excited to be showing you my February favorites today. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you my face products and we're just going to jump right in. The first thing I'm going to show you is my beauty blender. I absolutely love this thing. I use it almost every day when I'm applying liquid foundation. The only time I don't use it is when I'm applying the Revlon Color Whip foundation, but any other foundation, I love to use this. I just run it under the water and get it damp and it works fabulously. Literally this thing gives such a nice airbrush finish and it is amazing. So I definitely would recommend getting this if you haven't tried it. Moving on to foundation, I have been using this L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation almost every day. I have it on today and my shade is W6 Sun Beige. It gives like medium, light to medium coverage. It's not full coverage foundation, but it's great for everyday wear. Um, and it literally lasts, I think, I would say like seven to eight hours on me. It lasts pretty good before I have to use like blotting paper and suck up all the oil, but it really works great. It gives great um, coverage and it looks really nice and dewy. So I definitely would recommend this. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. I have tried the Garnier BB Cream, I believe the Maybelline one, and the CoverGirl one. And this is by far the best BB Cream I've tried. Um, it actually gives really good coverage. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, I'll just throw this on and blend it with a beauty blender. And then I'll just put on some finishing powder and it looks, it looks actually really nice. It leaves a nice finish. And the color I have it in is where is it? Medium, 030 medium. Um, and I believe this, I got this for $9.99, and it's definitely worth it. It's a lot thicker in consistency. You won't be able to tell, but it's not as liquidy as the other ones I found. Like the Maybelline BB Cream, I didn't like that one because I think it had more shimmer, but this is all matte, um, thick consistency, and it gives really good coverage. So I love that. And then the powder that I usually. Um, just put on with a large fluffy brush is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten and my color is in medium and this is amazing it really does even out your skin tone and um, it doesn't have full coverage but if you're using like the BB cream or even the L'Oreal True Match I'll just dust this on and it leaves a really great finish so this is the powder I've been using for the last couple of months actually and I really do love this um, powder so yeah now this is my all-time favorite concealer you've probably um, heard me talk about it in my other videos this is the covergirl and olay um, simply ageless eye concealer and it just looks like this you guys can see that I've swirled mine together but when you buy it it has like the beige and white little swirls in there and you just mix it together and it really does um, give great coverage. It's creamy, it doesn't dry up, and it doesn't leave creases, which I love. I would definitely recommend everybody to go out and try this because it is my favorite. I use it almost every day. Um, and the color I have it in, I don't know, I guess it's light. I have it in light 210. So definitely try this. This is my all time favorite concealer. And what I do after I put that on is I'll just take the Dampen Beauty Blender and apply some Ben Nye Banana Powder over it. And it really does help brighten up the under eye area. And I have it on today and you really can't tell the difference. And you get so much product. I think I bought this for $8 online and I'll leave a website from where I got it in the bottom bar. But definitely try this Ben Nye Banana Powder. I've heard some people that are lighter complexion than me um, say it doesn't look as good, but if you're darker, I'm like NC40-ish, NC40, 42, and it really does work great. It works wonders, and I absolutely love this thing. So a bronzer that I've been using for the last couple of months, I've been using the Hula bronzer, the Benefit Hula bronzer, but I have found that I love this one just as much. It is the NYX Matte Bronzer and the color I have it in is Deep Tan. It's super dark. 
but it really does help contour. I have it on today, if you guys can see. Um, and it doesn't have any shimmer in it, which is what I love about it. And yeah, it actually does really good at um, blending. I feel like there's really no harsh lines. It doesn't look too cakey or anything, so I would definitely recommend the NYX Matte Bronzer. And for highlighting, I have a couple of different ones that I highlight, but I always gravitate towards this one more. It's the NARS Albatross. And here's what it looks like. And it is more of a, it leaves like a goldeny shimmer to it. You can't even tell on my hand or I'd show you. But it really is a beautiful um, highlighter. I have it on today. Um, another one of my favorites is the MAC Semi Precious, I think. It's like a mineralized one. And then there's also, I think, Soft and Gentle, which is really nice. But this is the one that I usually um, pick over all those. So... Albatross NARS, one of my favorites. It's a highlighter. And as far as blushes go, I actually just picked this up a month ago. Like, end of January is when I got this. And it is the MAC Warm Soul. I have heard so many people talk about this blush, and I don't know why it took me so long to pick it up, but it is absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful. Do a little... See if you could do like a little swatch. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sorry if you can't, but I have it on today and I absolutely love this. I have been wearing this every single day. Um, it just has like a nice, like rosy sheen to it. I don't even know. It is goodness wrapped up in this little bitty tin. It is amazing. So, I absolutely love this. And as far as eyeshadows go, I'm usually more of a neutral kind of gal. Um, neutral lips, neutral eyes. Today, I added a little pop and put some purple underneath my eyes, if you guys can see that. But usually, my favorite palette is the Naked Basics palette by Urban Decay. It just has all these eyeshadows in there. And seriously, if you're a neutral kind of girl like me, these eyeshadows are all you will ever need to do like a neutral smoky eye. It even has a black in there so you can do one for nighttime. And the color payoff is great. Um, I always put a primer underneath so it doesn't crease, but I would definitely recommend going out and getting this if you like neutral colors. All right, so I think that that's all for face. Um, as far as like face products, I'm gonna move on to lips. So, some of my favorite lip glosses is the Revlon lip gloss and it's the Color Burst lip gloss and this is in Bellini. I'll do a little swatch. It's a really nice nude. There's a little swatch. You guys can see that. This kind of reminds me of the Strawberry Parfait by Bonnie Bell. Except it's just a little bit, it's not as pink, it's more peachy, but the consistency is just the same. Another one of my favorites is this Revlon lip gloss, and this is in the color Nude. You have probably seen me wear this in some of my other videos, um, but it's just a nice, like, brownie nude. I really do love that. And that color is right there. It's the one on the bottom. And I actually have this one on top of Velvet Teddy, Max Velvet Teddy is what I have on today. But some of my favorite lip glosses, I mean lipsticks from MAC are Cream Cup. I'm sure all of you have heard about this. There's Cream Cup. It's just a nice pinky nude. I think everybody should have this color. I think it really does look good on everybody. Um, and it really goes with everything. If you have like really dark smoky eyes, you can do like a nude lip with this and put um, a nude gloss over it and it would be gorgeous. Another one of my favorite lipsticks from MAC is Blankety. This has more brown tones in it, but it's still another nude. It's more um, brown though than the Cream Cup. The other one, Cream Cup is more pink. There's that and I do love this one as well. I feel like if you're um, 
a little bit darker, like olive to darker complexion, this would look absolutely gorgeous on you guys. And then my last lip product is the, who is this by? May, Maybelline? I don't know. I think, I think it's Maybelline. Color Whisper, that sounds right, right? I should, yeah, Maybelline, Color Whisper. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, and this one is in the color Berry Ready. I know I have so many berry colors, but this one is just so gorgeous. I'm going to do a little swatch. I'm more of a nude girl, but this berry color is absolutely gorgeous. And I find myself reaching for this when I need just a little bit of pop of color. So there's that color. And these are so smooth. They remind me of the Revlon Lip Butters. So I love these. And their packaging is so cute and sleek. I absolutely love them. So... My favorite, favorite mascara for the month of February and probably month of January too. I didn't do a January favorites, but is the favorite mascara is L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. I love this mascara because of the brush at the end. That's what it looks like. I was kind of afraid to use it at first because I was unsure I thought it'd be more clumpy but this really does get into all the lashes and help separate all the lashes and it makes your lashes look so much fuller and longer and this is heaven in a bottle I absolutely love this um, mascara you guys should try it this is probably one of my favorites I do pair it with the covergirl lash blast um, but this I could probably wear this alone and it would be just as good um, uh, one of the nail polishes that I picked up, I'm not really a nail polish person, but I couldn't pass this one up. It is the L'Oreal, um, one of their spring colors, and this is called Lacy Lilac. And I posted this on my Instagram, if you guys follow me on there. But this is such a gorgeous lilac color. They really have some gorgeous, um, spring colors out right now, but this is the one I picked up. So, love that. As far as um, hair product goes, I don't put a lot of product in my hair. When I get out of the shower, the main thing that I use is the Moroccan oil. This stuff smells so good. I can't even, I can't even describe it. Oh, really, it smells so good. Um, but yeah, I put maybe like half a squirt of this in my hair and it literally makes such a difference. It feels so soft and it just feels so much healthier. And I used to have a lot of split ends and um, my hair used to be just so dry. And after I started using this, it has gotten so much healthier. This is expensive. Um, I think a bottle like this is like $40, but it's definitely worth it. I've had this bottle for over a year and a half and I'm only down to like right there. I'm not even like halfway done. So I would definitely recommend getting this. It really does make a difference. And then my last product was something that I wasn't planning on buying. I've just heard so many people talk about it and I really didn't think it'd make a difference, but trust me, it has saved my life. Um, it is the Clarisonic Mia. This is the regular one. It's not the two. Um, but I picked this up and I really didn't want to shell out the money for it, but you know, I figured everybody's talking about it. Surely it has to be good. And this thing is amazing. I picked mine up from Macy's. Um, and the first day I tried it, I did use like makeup remover wipes to take off all my makeup. And usually that's how I go to sleep. A lot of times I don't wash my face at night. I know it's horrible. It's horrible. I should, but I get so lazy and I don't. Um, but yeah, I took all my makeup off with the makeup remover wipes and then I tried this and it was so disgusting to see how much stuff was still on my face. I could not believe it. So after I use this, I use, um, it comes with a cleanser, like a little baby cleanser, but then I've been using the Cetaphil daily cleanser on this and it really makes a difference. Your face feels so much smoother and brighter. And it really, it feels like your skin is able to breathe. Like it really does get all the pores clean and it works great. I use this every day in the shower 
and I would say it is definitely worth the hundred and twenty dollars that I paid for this um, if you guys can I really would recommend you getting it it makes a difference so yeah that's my little tidbit on the Clarisonic Mia definitely go out and get this if you guys can yeah so I think that is all the products um, that I have been enjoying in February I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'm going to be posting more videos. I know there's been like a long time, you know, like it takes me so long to post videos. But work has been crazy, but that's no excuse. I'm going to do better. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.